A lot of people in New Boston like John Winslow. The local mechanic has been repairing engines and machines, large and small, at his home business, Duke's Garage, since 1965. I probably got paid for 40% of the work I actually did because the, there was people in need. But there are also a lot of people who don't like Winslow's front yard on River Road, which for decades has been full of his work. Duke's Garage predates local zoning, but in August 2017, after years of dispute with the town and partial cleanup efforts, a judge declared Winslow's property a junkyard. They're in violation of state law. The state legislature passed a law that says junk junkyards are illegal unless you comply with certain conditions. Uh, he's never complied with those. He's never even tried to comply with them. But Winslow contends the town overstepped its authority when it told the cleanup crew to remove items inside a trailer on the property. This week, a judge granted an injunction preventing entry into the trailer and a nearby garage. Winslow is also gaining advocates and allies. When you see a David and Goliath situation like this, um, I wanted to make sure that constituents had the representation that they needed. Taxpayers in New Boston, beware. Your town could do this to you. You don't want them coming and looking in your trailer. You know, and there's, no, there's never been any history of pollution here. It's just egregious what, what's going on. The attorney representing New Boston says the town has been more than accommodating. If anybody would take the time to go and look at the court file, they would be able to see the history of how long this has been going on and the efforts the town's made to do things voluntarily. But John Winslow, the man who has repaired many a lawnmower and snowblower free of charge, is now facing hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines and attorney's fees. And he and his wife could end up losing their house. It's overwhelming. In New Boston, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.